elsewhere in the NFC East. I swear, I, di- I didn't make this up. I didn't make this up. We had a whole different show planned, and this all mm-hmm. happened on Monday morning in Dallas. I, I'm not going to overreact to this. Uh, C.D. Lamb is is not present as the Cowboys start their offseason program. He's seeking a new contract. He is uh, a year later in his process than Devontae Smith. He's sitting out of the voluntary portion, and that's, I mean, that's always the key word. This is voluntary. Players miss the offseason program for various reasons all the time, but it does set the stage for a more dramatic negotiation at some point. C.D. Lamb, 1,800-yard season last year, best receiving season in Dallas Cowboys history. He certainly seems like he's gunning to cross that $30 million threshold at some point. Like I said, I, I don't think it's an issue right now, Ralph, but is there a timeline where this becomes something the Cowboys should be more worried about? I don't think they should be worried unless you get to mini camp in June and he doesn't show up and then maybe your radar goes up a little bit. But honestly, even then, I, I've seen plenty of players either show up for mini camp and not actually practice or uh, you know, just lightly go through things or have suddenly an injury that will pop up that's just going to be for the three days. I wouldn't worry about this unless training camp comes and he decides to hold out then. Uh, there's no indication that that'll happen. We don't really know where negotiations stand. If there's been any negotiations with C.D. Lamp, doesn't look like the Cowboys are doing anything with any of their contracts at the moment, or if they are, they're doing it very quietly behind the scenes. Um, you know, so right now, yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about it. He's making a, a statement by not showing up saying I want a new contract. We knew that already. We know he's going to be in shape. We know he'll be on the same page as Dak Prescott if they have the summer to work together. So, um yeah, I, I there's no reason to be alarmed until you get to July, whatever it is when they open training camp if he's not there. Then you've got a bit of a storyline, but hopefully by then we'll have some clarity on what Jerry Jones is doing and what he means by all in, um, whether that means signing CD lamb and Dak Prescott and Micah Parsons, or whether he's going to let them play out what's left on their contracts. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I go back and forth on this constantly. We've discussed it a million times. I don't know what Jerry Jones long-term plan is, but I'm sort of hoping that by the time we get to training camp, we'll have some sort of idea. Maybe Jerry by all in means he's talking about the potential of needing to negotiate deals for his three biggest stars in the same training camp. And that, I, I know we've talked about it a lot, Ralph, but I'm curious what your headspace is. I agree. The CD lamb thing is it's not an issue right now. Honestly, I always say I'd rather my best players sit out of voluntary drills anyway. Like, please don't tear something in May when we don't need you. But this has the potential, at least, to be a bit of a crisis when you think of the situation facing Dak Prescott, no new deal right now, no trade clause, no tag clause. Where is that going? C.D. Lamb speaks for himself. And Micah Parsons as well. He was taken two picks after Devontae Smith, so he is eligible for an extension I don't know that he's going to force the issue. I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth, but you at least have to consider that it is a possibility. It is a thing that could crop up. Is all of that in totality worth being worried about if you're the Cowboys? Yeah, I I think so. Um, You know, they'll do a good job of saying, oh, these are not big concerns and, you know, we know something will get done and all of that, but We've been around enough to know that contract things become a concern. And suddenly they're not just for the media, which is fun for us and gives us a storyline all year long. Will Dak be back next season? Will C.D. Lamb be back? Uh, But you start to wonder about the players and where their headspace is. And they look around the league and they see other guys being taken care of. And they wonder, well, why are we being taken care of? And their teammates start to wonder, well, C.D. Lamb's one of the best players in the league. The Cowboys aren't taking care of him. What is that going to mean for me? They all think about it, and it becomes a distraction that you don't want, and it becomes an issue that you don't want to talk about and answer to, and and we're going to be talking about that constantly. And if there's you know an injury that pops up or a slump that pops up, it becomes an even more pronounced issue as well. So um, if I were the Cowboys, I certainly would want at least Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb's future taken care of before I got to training camp, and you know, maybe before the end of training camp, I'll give them a little bit of a grace period as well. Sometimes it's not until August that these things will get done. But 
Um, you know, if they're not going to do that, yeah, that's that's going to be a storyline all year long. Every interception Dak Prescott throws, every drop pass by C.D. Lamb, every completion and touchdown that they combine on is going to include a line about, you know, will this duo be together in the future? And what the heck are the Cowboys doing? Why aren't they taking care of them? It's it's just it's never going to end. I mean, that's just the truest thing I've ever heard as it pertains to like all cowboy negotiations for that matter. One last thing on CD before we move on. And, and it's, it's something that you're seeing a lot of talk about and I get it. I mean, there's, there's three receivers from that 2020 draft class that are all gunning for big new contracts right now. Justin Jefferson, CD lamb, Brandon, Ayuk as well. And I, I understand the logic. Maybe there's a stalemate. Maybe there's a contract, uh, cold war for lack of a better term of who's going to sign first and how do we top that? How do we maximize our earning potential for me? How, how long does that extend? Like for starters, how many teams want these guys playing into their contract year? And on top of that, isn't there something to be said for being the first guy to sign setting the market initially and just getting it taken care of? I mean, I know you always want to be the last guy to sign, because the last guy to sign gets the most amount of money, but it's got to start somewhere, right? I mean, somebody has to make the first move, and I wonder when that happens. It's a good question. Uh, you know, there is seemingly a log jam up at the top, um, and obviously that's an individual decision for the player and his agent. You know, do you want to set the market knowing that, you know, if you're CeeDee Lamb, you're going to get the highest paid contract in history for a receiver, and it might last two days before somebody beats that. Are you going to then be upset that, Gee, I only got 30 million when I could have gotten 31. Um, you know, that's an individual decision. You know, I wonder with some of these receivers too, how much it factors in um their situation and other players. If you're CD Lamb, you know, maybe you're inclined to sign sooner than later to get your money, but are you worried about, well, who's my quarterback going to be in a year or so with with Dak Prescott's situation? There, I'm sure Justin Jefferson's thinking similar things about, you know, well, what's the situation going to be here over the next couple of years? Do I want to lock myself into that or do I want to become a free agent where I can pick my situation knowing that there'll be multiple huge offers as well? So um, there's so many factors. Uh, somebody will sign first eventually when that'll be. I don't know. But, um, you know, it's going to depend on what that player feels about his situation, what advice he's getting from an agent who undoubtedly will want to set the market at some point. I wonder if Brandon Ayuk's trade status has anything to do with that. And I know the report came out over the weekend. He hasn't requested one. I still think it, it's on my radar as far as things that could happen here in the coming weeks with the draft coming up. We'll keep an eye on how that affects everything. 